going on YouTube? J Drone here. This is the Holy Stone F181. This is going to be a fully charged battery test while recording. Um, and also kind of flying aggressively. So if you kind of lollygag fly, take it easy, and you're not recording, you could expect to get a longer flight time. Or even if you're just recording and you're kind of cruising around trying to get the best images, uh, the best video quality, you'll probably get a longer flight time. This is going to be an aggressive flight. This is going to be a high altitude flight. This is going to be a speed flight. And again, I'm recording. So uh, with that being said, if you're not doing all those things that I just said, you're probably going to get a longer flight time. But I like to fly a little bit extreme. I like to fly high. I like to fly fast. So if you like to fly like J-Drone, you can expect to get the same amount of time off of a fully charged stock battery. When you are flying up this high, you want to be careful. If it gets away from you, drop throttle as quickly as possible. That way you can figure out your orientation. Kind of like how I just did. If, you're, if there's any type of wind whatsoever, you're going to have to battle with it. It's stronger a lot higher up in altitude because there's nothing to block it. I'm going to bring this in for a catch here. And we're just going to make sure our camera is operating properly. And it is. And we are going to start it again. The way you start it is by that button and the button that I'm pressing on top is your speed ratings it goes 25, 50, 75, 100 the higher up you go the more pitch it'll get and the faster it'll go we are flying in the 50 percent speed setting here I believe and uh, we're going back up again I have my camera recording not only am I having fun flying this but there's also the Christmas factor what is the Christmas factor well you go to sleep you wake up there's presents under your tree you have no clue what they are you're all excited open them up bam super excited got something you didn't know you were gonna get well that's Christmas factor with uh, flying drones I'm flying here I have a vague idea what this is recording but that high up in altitude dude I have no clue so when I get home I pop the SD card out of this I pop it into my computer and bam there's a Christmas factor I get to view what the drone was viewing that high up in altitude it's pretty exciting for me I enjoy it a lot um, you have your FPV quadcopters that are cool that kind of allows you to see what it's seeing but a lot of them won't let you go that high once you go way 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 too high they kind of cut out so again if you uh, if you like to fly you like to fly high and you want to surprise definitely go for that Christmas factor and uh, surprise yourself when you get home I enjoy it I thoroughly enjoy it um, as of recently I've been taking drones with me where I go if I'm going to explore an area I generally bring a drone with me because I'm exploring new area out in the woods so it's all new for me and then I fly a drone up and kind of do a pan of the area I get back home completely different perspective that's one of the reasons I like flying um, I'm sure everybody has their own reasons for liking flying that's just one of mine the Christmas factor um, you can quote that I'm sure I'm the first person who said it anybody else start saying it uh, you can mark on your YouTube comments you stole that from J drone <laughs> I'm joking but kinda not um, right now we are pushing the three and a half minute mark guys the battery let's see I think we got like five six minutes off of a much smaller battery that probably had a lower C rating so we're definitely looking to pass that time mark with the larger battery that's longer and a f higher 50 mAh and I should only assume it's a higher C rating. Um, I'm unsure though. And here we're going to bring it in for you, give you a look at this drone. It's very cool. The paint on it is very stealthy paint and we do have blinking lights here. Not really sure why that's doing that. It did it with my last flight too but we're going to keep flying it here. Um, again I'm really not sure why it does that blinking because as you can see we're not coming down quick and if we do come down quickly shortly hereafter like within the next minute or two maybe that's a low voltage warning but uh, if we get like three or four minutes after then I'm baffled I don't know why it's doing that um, and again I'm bringing it in I'm checking my camera and then I'm resetting it I constantly do that because I'm unfamiliar with this uh, with this camera and the blinking if it does shut down some drones will not allow you to shut down the camera after it shuts down and then you lose your footage so periodically I'm bringing it in and out stopping starting stopping starting that way I know 
if it does shut down and you can't shut the camera down at least I have some type of footage I have that high altitude footage that I just had recorded and this is still flying guys so blinking maybe you guys if you have this quad and you've you've experienced this maybe you could cue me in on it eventually maybe I'll get to the bottom of it and I'll figure out what it is and I can let you know what it is but as far as right now I'm I'm still flying zero issues here and again we'll bring it in for a look here so cool that light on the front is so cool it's just like the DM007's light but much larger this is a bigger drone compared to the DM007 I like this drone a lot and again we're taking it up for me unless you have something right in front of you which I have nothing right in front of me I have field I have field grass and tall brushes I like to fly high because flying high you're you're getting a perspective of, of the general area that you cannot see from the ground now if I had all types of statues or tall buildings in front of me I probably wouldn't be flying that high I'd probably be flying maybe 50 to 100 feet checking these things out closely with the drone because on ground level you can't just climb up on a statue and go really look at it a drone could get all up in the statues face um, so if you're in an area that you have all types of cool stuff to look at you really don't have to fly this high I really don't have much to look at that's why uh, my drones a pinpoint in the sky here if you guys are on Facebook check out drone days the link will be at the bottom that's where I post a lot of these stills that I'm getting from these videos and you can kind of see how high I've gone and what type of video I'm getting because right now you see field you see clouds there's the a, a power line there other than that you're just seeing the drone flying around if you want to see what the drone sees I generally don't put the stills on here occasionally I'll integrate these flights with the video but um, check out drone days Facebook most everybody's on Facebook click the link you can click uh, join I'll approve you and you can also post your stuff there too I like seeing what other people fly um, I like seeing other people's videos other people's stills I'm into drones um, it's kind of a place to show off what you're doing too but right now guys we're pushing the seven and a half minute mark unsure uh, what those blinking lights are and we're down I'm J drone if you haven't subscribed please do and have a wonderful day just turned off the camera take care guys thanks for watching